All right, All hello. hello. We, we are, are. We have a bonus, bonus stream for you guys, for you guys today, today for some, some Boston, Boston University, University Valorant, Valorant A against, against our rival school, school Boston, Boston College. College. Have, a have a little bit, little bit of a, a more bare bone stream for you guys today. Production was. We, don't, we do not have full production available today. What we want is to bring you guys the action, as that what matters most. Coming in, we have the revitalized Boston University A roster up against BC. Looking, looking to find, find the BC, BC looking to find the find first, first win, win of the of season. season. Reyna coming, coming in. in. Gets tagged a little bit, MC Long is able to get the orb as the rest of the team is looking to execute around the garage area, it seems. Fawzi getting picked off early, trying to push into the garage. Optum looks like he's going to back out of the area. Gabriel seeing nothing on A. As DNL, DNL sees something B, but is unable, unable to, to pick upon it. But members of BC holding their ground, not really looking to overcommit too much as they keep their initial defense as the clock winds down to 55 seconds. Escalera going for a late push into A. Both Cyphers about to face a duel, finds the pick onto D Lamb 5. As, As Raina looks, looks to use the Leer to get onto, get onto site. site. Plant comes down, down from Optimum. Optimum. As BC is, is in a retake scenario, scenario on A. a. Huge shock, shock dart from, from the Sova of BC. BC. That's going to take out three of them as it's DNL versus the world left in this post plant scenario. DNL unfortunately unable to find the shots in the first one as BC will take the first round. Falsia looking, looking to, to jiggle. jiggle B, B however, does not seem to find anything there. there. Dino finds, finds one, however, will get traded by BC. BC. Right now, we're in a 3v3 as Falsia is looking to execute onto the B site. Picks up a Spectre. Unfortunately, it's picked out by Benny Boy. Phoenix from BC as Optum is slowly creeping his way onto the site with the spike. Members of BC do hear him there as he is getting approached by two angles. Unable to find the shots onto the Phoenix, looking to reset his position as he plants for B. Right now, it's just Gabriel in the smoke. Unfortunately, can't find the shots onto Benny Boy as Benny Boy finds the last two. Really unfortunate for Boston University there. Just shots not connecting. So you must wonder if their mental is in the right space uh, going into this match. BC with a 2 0 lead as members of PU are looking to regroup, regroup here. Uh, uh, looking, looking money-wise, money -wise, they, do they do seem to have, have enough, enough for a, a full, full buy from each of them. them. So, so, we shall see if they can turn this turn around. around. After, After showing such a dominant, dominant performance, performance against NJIT last, last week, we used to wonder if, if this, this, this form of the BU Terrier seems like a completely different form than what we saw in their match last week. Cover going out. Have been informed that stream is echoing, so that should be corrected right now. Escalera finds an early pick onto C, so it looks like the rest of the team is going to be looking to execute there. They spot the Reyna in C garage. As Optimum actually finds one with the Brim Molly. Escalera in position to combat the two that could potentially come from the defender spawn. However, we'll pick off the enemy Cypher as the Phoenix will heal, and Escalera finds the last pick. You guys are so much better than my last team. Hello to those of you coming in here. 
Uh, we do not have the full production available today. We apologize for that. But we wanted to bring you guys the Valorant action of our team against our rival school, Boston College. Uh, again, that was, I believe, a flawless or near flawless round for the Terriers. So, they are looking to slowly bring back this 2-1 lead. Joke's over! You're dead! Optimum pushing in. Our finds nothing. Phoenix taking on, on a deep flank. But does not seem to find anything with that ult. Balsia spraying the smoke cover. Unable to find anything. As Escalera spots the omen from BC on B site. However, shots miss on both sides. Escalera looking to rotate into garage. However, the Phoenix from BC is waiting there for him. But he will have to camp to spot him out first. With, with two of them there, they can safely swing onto him. It looks like he is going to back out in case there's a push. Escalera carefully pushing in. Falsia finds two. Dino finds one. As Benny Boy will pick up two members of BU, leaving it in a 2v2 scenario post plant on B. Gabriel watching the A side as Falsia is looking. Cypher peaks, and Gabriel will train him out in 1v1 and just the Phoenix. Get away for the sound. However, it is a fake. Just feel right now versus the world. As he cannot find the shots onto Benny Boy. And now it's going to be 3-1 for Boston College. Looking in. Benny Boy is putting in. Great work on the Phoenix so far. Being 8-1. So he really is the driving force of this BU team. As, sorry, of the BC team. As BU is having a little bit of a rocky start coming out here. Yeah, can we get a, uh, we, uh, although we like to be, uh, nice to our opponents, uh, in true BU fashion, uh, there is a certain phrase of, uh, I guess two words become BC as one word that, uh, BU students like to chant at hockey games. Yeah. While I am supposed to encourage, uh, friendliness amongst the two teams, uh, I can't stop BU students from being BU students. D land will find the first one onto Escalera. He's done so much work on the BU team. Falsia shots just don't connect at all. As he will get picked off. As so we'll also find Gabriel with the Hunter's Fury. Optum will seem to be able to get the plant off onto A. However, they're just down so many members. DNL finds one. Through the wall. Does not see the one to his right coming around the box. However, we'll keep the Reyna and, and we'll get picked off after using the Empress. Rough look from the BU team here with shots from Falsy just not connecting. As they really had the tools to execute on this site. However, just mechanical misplays are hurting this team significantly right now. This game is certainly not out of the grasp of BU. As I'm only down three rounds in the beginning. They still have mostly enough for a full bite with the exception of Optimum. However, if I know anything about this team, they are hungry to win and are not ready to give up. Cover going out. Escalera coming on the Cypher. Cypher camp's going to spot that everyone's there, so BC is going to be looking to rotate. Look at Sova finding Falsia early. Rough showing from him so far as Slipper finds more. Slipper finds two more actually, as it's going to be a 5v2 coming down. I think we saw that Cypher can. There's really not a ton you could do there if you are BU, but Escalera will find Slipper with the wobbing in the back of C, making this a 4v2. One member of BC. Sign whether or not to peek, but they will spot the flank from Phoenix. Oh, sorry, the Reyna, as DNL is ready to cover this. Cypher getting it spotted in the Ceylon Cubby as DNL is ready for this Ranger to come by. DNL unfortunately will get peaked as it's just Escalera versus the world. Escalera unable to find the shots against Need Shower.
Rough start for the Terriers right now at uh at five and one. Looks like they are gonna be looking to save with the exception of no, um, seems like we see some light buys coming out from the Terriers. Um, I think that makes sense here as they've really been unable to find traction so far in um, in stacking sites from the last two rounds in A and C. So they're probably looking to do some sort of, of default, but it seems like they're occupying the mid area right now. Often with the Sheriff hoping to find something. How Regina will have the Vandal to potentially compete with the full buys from BC. Quite so far on either side. However, Escalator will get tapped. Peaking B. Slipper doing very good on entry fragging for BC right now. Benny Boy finds one. However, Dino will find Slipper in Garage. That's going to be three people in Garage. If you're BU, I think you are looking to leave the Garage and go A right now. Huge rain of blind from DNL. We'll find two more members of BC in that Garage area. He's going to be able to heal up all that damage he took as you know, is alone with the Cypher on C, but will get picked off by d -Land 5. Excellent effort, especially by d in that scenario, trying to bring the round back. However, uh, to no avail. This goes here. Terry's a little frustrated right now going into this eighth round, but uh, Atom is Good going to be looking here. to smoke this area as Phoenix will come out with the ult. He's unable to find one. Good use of the natural cover there from Optimum and TNL. Not willing to get picked off by that Phoenix ult. However, that Phoenix ult will give BC the information that BU is looking to stack mid right now as BC seems to have two, two people, two or three people kind of watching that garage vicinity. Do you know we'll find spot one in garage as Empress comes out from BC, but we'll get picked off by Escalera as Optimum gets picked off in the garage area. Escalera not finding anything currently as Gabriel is holding the flank, but we'll get picked off by Slipper. Falsia finds Slipper. Right now, BU in mid. A little indecisive what to do right now. But they are doing the rotates and they're going to see where they are. And that will probably influence where they go. They see the Cypher on A and still decide to execute there. So let's we'll see if Escalator is able to figure out where this Cypher is playing. Cypher Cam most likely left. coming out. But they will know where he, where they all are coming from. Going in to D Land's perspective. BC opting to rotate just the Phoenix. However, BU is already on that C site. Excellent use of the Omen Ultimate once they have the information about who was on A to get this plant down. The Terriers desperately need this round win. They hear the noises coming from the defender spawn. But as Escalator chooses to still watch the flank, finds the Phoenix, will light up the soul before getting picked off, and D-Land pops his own Cypher ult this time around. They opt to defuse. Make the fuse. Ooh, op shots come out. But that Cypher's still on it. Has to go for it. Falsia will find the pick as it's just Gabriel. Does Gabriel know that that spike is halfway? He has to. And we'll find the last pick. Super clutch from him at the very last second before that spike was defused. Coming in. Uh, to answer your question in chat, it is uh, BU is on the red side as they win a clutch round a must win must 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 win for the terriers in this scenario get out of my way escalera peeking see long Aldrone will spot him However, I'm not sure if it will get the rest of the members of BU in that area. Well, I'm smoking up the area. It looks like BU will rotate out smartly as that as they try to push that B BC would have plenty of time to rotate. Cypher coming in on a flank. Down. Seems to be making his way down a long, so potentially looking to push people 
uh, outside that mid lobby area. Going back to Escalero, seem seems to be taking an angle onto B as no one's looking to peek. Rain of Flash will come in. However, neither side looking to necessarily put shots fired on the end on both ends as DNL is looking to peek. Will not find the shots yeah. as Reyna will blind and most likely peek as well. Yep, they see each other. However, no shots fired. Escalera will be blinded as he makes his way onto B site. Has cages up to Caterpillar his way to the Gong back site. However, two picks come out from BC. But Dino will find D LAN as we have a generally killer A as two members. We have four members of BC and three members of BU. So Ferrara comes out. Leers from Dino as. Gabriel is seems to be able to get this plant down. Nope. Unable to get the plant down. Hate to see it as Slipper V2 will push up the round. We'll technically need Shower Will, but excellent showing by Slipper. Hence why he is the top frag of the team. Looking at it pure kills wise, it's we seem to have a disparity between the teams, as obvious, for the team that is losing 2 to 7. But I noticed that a lot of these errors seem to be on the end of execution and slash just mechanical differences. Shot, the shots from BU just aren't connecting, despite them typically being in the right positions at the right times. Cover going out. Out of charges. Optum, Optum uses smokes uh, in that C window as BU is going to creep their way onto C. They're going to spot the Sova as he uses the Shock Dart. Going to find Falsia. DNL unable to find anything, but will get Benny Boy in C Long. Finds another Need Shower from Defender Spawn. Will dismiss. And Unfortunately has no bullets left, but, but D Land 5 will miss all of his shots. My apologies for forgetting the name of their Cypher player as he crawls through the smokes and will get picked off. Just Escalera, Battle of the Cyphers, and d will come on top with the last two. Unfortunately, Yellow, Yellow B is not winning right now as they are down what is to be 8-2. to two. BU having high hopes going into this game. Unable to find the picks they need in these tight scenarios. Looking at BU's comp with two duels and two smokes. Seems to be... Um, not necessarily too lean to one way or another in terms of whether the cop is built for defense or attack. But regardless, something will have to change from the side of BU if they're looking to come out on top in this map and eventually this series. Jet Dash coming in from Falsia as he's making a quick push on. Dangerously close to getting sprayed. BC finding three. As you see, order. why is BU as as this absolute bloodbath of a round goes on? You see, wonder why is BU still going for these five man stacks? I do not understand. They, I think, what the team needs to do is play a little bit slower here, and to really decide on an angle before they decide to push. I mean, the way BC has been playing, they're just holding angles and waiting for them for BU to push and playing smartly and waiting for them to. Waiting for BU to come to them. And I think BU is getting punished for going in when they're not necessarily have the ground to get covered. Gr ground cover to go in. You know, looking for an entry. But the Cypher team will spot the Reyna as she looks to rotate back. Optimum finding one early on need shower. As the Omen TP will occur, and you know will find it and punish the Omen for doing so. That's two picks on the side of B, but only 55 seconds left to decide a site to push. Exactly Several from Escalera will alert them of all their positions as they look to what seems to be plant onto the C site. 
two members at the defender spawn as Autumn is within the plant in the open to possibly defend from Silong. Five HP in the dream. We'll get the spike planted down. Biu assembling their post plant angles. Gabriel will find one in garage as their Silva inches his way through the garage window. Unfortunately, is caught looking the wrong way as uh, Yufan will find the angle. One enemy remaining. Escalera finds D land five. As it's just Sova in the garage, as Escalera will find the last pick. Switching sides. Rough half for the Terriers. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, being down 9 3 is hard for any team. But um, that last run in the half did show some promise in terms of the Terriers returning to the form that we saw last week in their dominating win against. New Jersey Institute of Technology. Four members of BU looking to buy a ghost with just Gabriel buying, sticking with the classic and armor. And Boston really looking, Boston is really looking for something big to change on this Haven defense. Escalera coming long early will not find anything. As Optum is going to try to slow down the members of BC, pushing down C-Long. There seems to be three of them there, but I'm not sure if Optum is aware that they are rotating off right now. And will properly flip to Garage. Right now, it's just Optum and Gabriel on mid as they look to make their way down towards A. However, Falsia already rotated off and it's just Escalera in that A-Shore area. He's going to quickly spot... The Silva as members of BC are going to execute their way onto site. Escalera right now is probably screaming that BC is on site and will get caught out by Slipper. Will the rest of you have enough time? It seems that some members of you have made their way, but Falsia is flashed. Will be lit. Dino is smoked, so unable to make an impact and cover his team as they decide to push in. Falsia will get picked off, and that's going to be three picks. For Slipper and one for Neat Shower on DNL. Excellent. Smoke in Heaven by Slipper to uh, prevent DNL from being able to refrag any of his teammates. The Terriers need to seriously regroup, uh, whether it's in this map or for map two, uh, as. This is a really rough showing for them against the BC Eagles. Smoke down. Two on the sea long on C site right now. Flash will catch DNL, but DNL will counter with his own flash because he's trying to find one. Spots two on C site. However, BC will have two of their own. Right now, it's just Falsia and Escalera Spike trying to take back this 5v2 as BC executed perfectly, finding the those two opening picks. Falsia creeping slowly towards C. However, is not aware of the people around him. Sight which comes out. Get that to come in. As Escalera will find one with the Sheriff, find two with the Sheriff, three with the Sheriff. With only seven HP left, he is dangerously low, but will get picked off. Excellent effort, but BC will find their 11th round, only two ways, two wins away from a map one victory on Haven. Map two, if I'm not mistaken, will be Ascent with choice of side coming from BC. Escalera finds one early on A against D Lan. As him and Foster are still holding down the fort at A, 
and there's two more members of BC still floating around the A lobby B window area and it seems to be they are committing to the mid push. Excellent call by BC as there are only two members of BU holding it, that mid area. Optimum looking to rotate, change his position in the garage from behind the box to uh, connector as BC Cover as they off. wait await BC to push. No decision being made by either side yet, but Escalera finds another onto Need Shower. Potentially looking to lurk around. A, excellent call by him to stay destroyed. there. He is going to try to peek the Sova with the camera information, but instead, Thirty seconds to stay left. there. So, chooses to smartly stay on the behind. However, we'll get caught out by uh, the Sova. Again, yeah, DNL will find the last pick on to Yufan, and Terriers will slowly make their way back. Apparently, we're seeing some love for one of the BC members. If I recall correctly, Colin is the current president of BC Esports. So, uh, shout out to them and their club. They do a lot of wonderful things there for any BC people watching. Uh, Eagles looking to make a push on to C, C Long, as five of them are actually chilling in the area as they start to rotate out smartly after it has been smoked off. Optimum and three members of BU still watching C site as all five BC Eagles seem to be making their way towards A. Uh, an Omen TP to what seems to be a Heaven will catch out any late rotations. What Escalera will find too before getting caught up by Slipper. Slipper being extremely dominant for this BC team right now. Smoking off a Heaven. Looking Fight to planted. pull off something similar to what they did against BU in a previous round. Falsia in heaven will find the arena. Optimum finds one of his own, as it's just the Sova in a short remaining. Sova, as Gabriel will find the last pick. Look in the chat, I see some familiar faces from Northeastern University. Shout out to North, Northeastern University Esports and their program. They do a lot of wonderful things there. As they help spread some love for our mutual uh, rivalry against Boston College. PC looking to hold that window and mid area. Silver is going to come out. It's going to spot, I believe, Falsia. Maybe Gabriel as well. Uh, as over. they look to You're push dead. into mid. Gabriel getting Omen blinded. Not going to be able to do anything. We'll get a huge blind onto the members of BC. And will pop the Phoenix hole as he is looking to back out and stay safe. While his team members rotate. Gabriel going to find one onto Slipper. Like as you fan will plant it. The bomb. Uh, Falsia finds one. But that spike is down for BC. Optimum finds one. Escalera using the ult to secure the round. Benny Boy going to find three, actually. But Falsia will get the spike to halfway in this 1v2 scenario. Makes you wonder what happened to all those members at BU. Cypher Camp going to spot Falsia as the members of BC are going to pinch him. But d will find it. Heartbreaking, I believe, five or four to two uh, loss for Match the Terriers. Point. Boston reaching match point 5 to 12 against BC. But they are down, but certainly not out yet. If that last round was any indication. As 
Valera using his cam. And A not gonna see anything. But False here will find one early on A, as well as Gabriel both finding a pick each. You see, looking to execute onto C, as it'll be Dino pops slipper, the carry for the BC team, pops need shower. And performance like these are more indicative of the Dino we saw last week, as Falsia will find the last cleanup pick. Down 6 to 12. Uh, Terrors certainly have their back against the wall. But um, taking a couple extra rounds here will help them uh, momentum-wise going in to map 2. But I'm not ready to count this Boston University team out yet. Fast push coming in from Gabriel and Dino. Such a look in the flank. However, there is a Cypher Wire down as Optimum is just looking to buy time before the enemy team can execute. Falsia will get caught out on B site. As Otham is just waiting, desperately waiting for his team to rotate before really committing to pushing this site again. Gabriel still nowhere to be seen in the action, but Escalera will find his first. Reina Flash will come out, preventing him from pushing in. Knows the Reina is to the left, will pop her. One enemy remaining. As there's just one member of BC remaining, at, and he will get picked out by Gabriel. This is a best of three. For those asking in chat, it is a best of three. Terriers slowly coming back as the lead shrinks to 7 to 12. Uh, obviously, arms, whatchamacallit, uh, leads aside, uh, all games are winnable until one team reaches that magic 13 wins. So, we'll see if the Terriers can continue to snowball this. Uh, looking at economy-wise, if BC were to lose this round, they would be unable to buy next. So, that could be the start of a comeback for the Terriers. DNL finds one. However, him and Gabriel will get traded out onto C site. As it is not looking good for this retake for the Terriers. Optimum holding... A pretty safe angle, but the last members of BU will get taken Attacker out, and that will be map one in favor of the Boston College Eagles. Unfortunate showing for the BU Terriers. However, this being a best of three, there are still potentially two more maps that will occur. Uh, looking in at the performance report for each of these teams. Slipper, as I mentioned before, putting in serious work on the omen well timed well timed smokes and good overall mechanics helped him to be the carry of that boston college team in my opinion escalera and dnl both putting in their work on the bu side as has been shown from their previous match history and this is a little bit of a rough showing for bu as last week they came off a really dominant win so it's you you would really hate to see the Terriers go down to the Boston College team that is 0-2 right now after such a convincing win and these new roster additions to come in. In the meantime, while we wait for the next map to start, we will cut to a quick break, but we, we will be back when map 2 of Ascent starts.
All right, we are back for map two of Boston University versus Boston College CSL Valorant. We are on ascent with the BU Terriers on defense first. As for this map, they had choice of Psy, as Boston College had choice of map. Uh, looking at the composition, Escalera swapping on to the Killjoy. Actually, both. Actually, we have a little bit more of a change, but both teams opting to use Killjoy instead of Cypher here. With Benny Boy, the Phoenix from last round, switching. And Escalera, the Cypher, switching. Escalera going to take a quick peek. We'll kind of see the Jet trades his life. However, we'll call for the rest of his members to rotate as that is a five-man push onto A. DNL will leer in to try to burn a little bit of time as he sits in the Omen Smoke. Need shower. Oh, you fan finding a pick through the smoke onto DNL as this is a fast execute from the Boston College team. Also, you're looking to break down that door, but finds nothing. Optimum take, taking a peek. At what is in that a main area unable to find anything and will get picked off by a slipper as falsia is in a 4v1 not really looking to take any part of this fight readjust his angle as will get picked off by d land d land showing good mechanical skills on the cypher last round now on the jet uh boston boston university i can't just say boston here is opting not to it's just Soba, which is very, very popular on Ascent. So, a little bit, of str little strange compositionally wise, but uh, the the team knows what works, knows better about what works, so they're going to stick with it. I don't even know what I was just trying to say there, but you know, peaking tiles will get out. It seems to be unscathed as he sees lots of the members of BC Killjoy Turret. Will, does not spot Falsia as he is has no business looking to push in to try to flank that BC team just yet. Gabriel smoked off, but will also smoke off. Smoke himself to try to slow down BC. Uh, rotations come out from Boston University as BC has taken control of the mid-market area. Not decided on an angle to push yet. Gabriel will spot one, unable to find something. Spams through the wall as the alarm bot will come out to try to stop and push Ozma. Takes a peek, will dink Slipper, but unable to find a pick until Gabriel does with the Sheriff. DNL finds two. Excellent cro excellent trigger discipline in that A Cubby area will pick up the Spectre and finds Benny Boy. Excellent, excellent play by DNL. Purposely waiting in that A cubby for more members of B U B C to execute and will clutch out the round for the Terriers. This is the DNL we saw last week against NGIT, and this continues to show we will be seeing a different outcome than what we saw map one. Hopefully, I didn't just commentators curse B U. You know, looking to press W through a main. However, will find nothing. Uh, BC slowly making their way onto... Well, not slowly. Quickly making their way onto B site. As well as you will get caught by the recon bolt on site. However, BC slowing down their approach a little bit. I'm going to go to tiles. Probably trying to bait and early rotate from the team. But Escalera is on cat and will tag two. Not quite. As he gets picked by the omen and will get picked off with the stinger there. BC looking to execute onto A, but Gabriel is there waiting in a heaven. Omen Flash will miss as Gabriel is ready to potentially stop this push from BC. Finds Need Shower, will get picked off by Slipper. Dominant Force of the BC team as Need Slipper has angle, but will get picked off by Optimum. Recon Bolt will spot Optimum as Falsity gets picked. That's going to be 2 for Optimum as he is in a 1v2 post plant scenario. Has the sim beacon available if he decides to use it. Will not see the jet behind the box where the thing is planted. And they do not hear him drop down. He spots the kill of joy. But Benny will come out on top. Huge blow for the Terriers there economy-wise. 
as it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to full buy with BC having full, uh, what seems to be full guns, with the exception of D land looking to bonus the Spectre. We see three sheriffs come out from the side of BU, so despite being down around there, still very, very confident in the fact that they can um, click those heads when necessary. False here with the shorty, so I was looking to see where he's going to play. Because actually looking test. for a B garage or um, in that cubby area, or it seems to be in, I don't actually know what it's called, kayak, I guess? Trying to cheese a killer too. BC opting to push very fast onto the the B site as the Molly from Optum will slow them down a little bit. Luminol will come out and Optum will cancel it as BC executes onto the site. Obviously, a ghost cannot necessarily beat the, the Vandal in a 1v1. However, d Land will find two, and each will find one, as Escalera is left to retake the set on his own. Miss the shots on the Omen, and that'll be a 3-1 lead for Boston College. Valsia actually did manage to find uh, one pick with that shorty cheese, cheese in Kayak, but the push from BC was just too fast. They really like to push as a unit on this ascent site. Kind of what B was trying to do on Haven, but could not do successfully. Uh, BC seems to be congregating around B again as they realize they forgot the spike. But seen this in the Silva. Uh, last time I checked, only one person can hold the spike at a time, so not really sure. Need shower finding a pick, but to no avail as Falsy will find the opening pick for the Terriers on B. DNL peaking, having will clap D land in mid and as he is aware of the position of one more in tiles three members of bc left in that b2 tiles area as they fully look to regroup for this round still have a minute left over a minute left in the clock so they don't necessarily need to find a place to commit now and it seems like they are going to pull out and potentially go to a silva stay behind a little bit to lurk and potentially catch a flank smartly as oh no it, it's a fake yeah, it, it's a fake. They're still at B. They sure got me, but they didn't get who well, they didn't get is the members of this BU team as Falsy is still lurking on B. Nope, nope, he's rotating. Nope. Okay, yeah. Nope. Mark it. Final answer. He's marked it. BU Falsy realizing that BC did not rotate to A. He stays there as luckily Optimum and Gabriel did not fully commit to joining Escalera on A. Optimum finds two, mows them down. As Brimstone would say, looking to find the last one, and a bunch of will get picked off by Need Shower. But DNL will find the last pick. Excellent discipline from the Terriers that round. Not looking to commit until they knew for sure that BC was looking to push as they tried to double fake them out. But it did not work. Escalera with the setup onto the A site. As Optimum seems to have some smokes lined up to try to slow down this BC push. And I think as the right caller, as they have been pushing as five and fast every single round, and BU success has been based on how long they can slow down these pushes and potentially find an opening pick. Falsia not looking to commit, but will make his way through mid. Potent spot. Him and Omen will spot each other. Sova will come out. So they're probably looking to peek along with that. But he gets out just in time before BC can pick. DNL finds one. Both Rainers, both sides exchanging a pick. Escalera unable to find shots. On to the jet as BC is looking to rotate. Falsia finds another one in mid. As he's playing a careful dance with... Uh, d -Land 5. That's the second time I forgot d -Land 5's name. Apologies. I'm sure he's a great guy and a, and a great player. Gabriel will find one more. Gets picked off, but Escalera will get the refrag onto Benny Boy, and we are tied. 3-3. Three, three. Uh, looking at the ultimate economy. Uh, yes, oh, I said ultimate economy in Valorant. Yes, I do come from Overwatch. But we have four members of BU with their ultimates available. So 
most notably that lockdown, which has been very strong on a site as Espalier continues to play there, as well as the Omen TP to potentially stop any late rotations. So be really having the tools to take a lead and keep it. Atom using the same smoke and Molly again to slow them down. We'll get spotted in Kayak as BU is calling for all of them to rotate. Has the smoke's ready. For a second, I thought he was actually going to ult, but it seems to be they just want to slow down BC and time for the rest of BU to get here. DNL, the super aggressive Reyna, is decided for a second to push in, but eventually pulled out with just Slipper V2 hanging in there in garage. We may see a smoke or potentially an ult come out from him as BC pushes in the main. Yep, there's the smoke to get there, but Gabriel's Lurk will catch them off guard. Falsia in the Omen smoke looking to catch this BC team not paying attention to him. Will get the flank, finds Benny Boy, will evade the rest of BC, gets it. An excellent shot against d -Lan. That's three for Falsia in mid Showing why he is one of the captains of this left. Boston University team. Slipper will find Optimum caught out on different site. However, Fortune Observer was unable to catch that last pick, but Escalera will find the last one onto Slipper. And this is already telling a different story than what we saw map one. BC splitting between top of mid and A, it seems to be. You should run. But DNL is ready to push through cat potentially if need be. But he is ready to support his team on A main. Good kill Dream Molly to slow down the push as Escalera is backing out into below heaven to stop himself from getting detained. Finds Slipper V2, the carry of BC. Finds another one onto Need Shower. DNL finding one of his own as the last one is in the tree room, and that is going to be a 5 3 lead for the Terriers. This could be the start of a great comeback that we are about to see right now. I'm calling it right here. No commentator's curse. They're immune because this team is just that good. Bold of me to say after a 8-13 to loss map 1, but I am confident that this team will bring it back. Set up. Oh, Falsia finds one with the op early. Apologies, chat, for missing it as he looks to peak mid again. But rotates to B as call likely made by Optimum. But BC, a little indecisive on where they want to go right now. Backs out of the garage. As the shots are fired from uh, it seems to be Optum through the smoke, potentially trying to catch any members of BC looking inside of it. Falsio back on mid. Will have the angle, but will get spotted by the Owl drone. Still looking at B as members of the BC Eagles are creeping their way towards mid. No one really has an angle on Cat. Just Smoke will come out, which will prevent, which allow them to get a little bit more ground as just swing straight through and D-Land will find Falsio. That's the pick that BC was looking for. That's DNL spots D land five, but opts not to reveal his position just yet smartly as he wraps around Optum finding one, but getting traded out. Finds Benny Boy, two for DNL. As it is just you fan left in a 1v2 post plant scenario. Two leers coming out from DNL, two uh, catch you land off guard as Escalera will come around and they successfully execute the pincer. Good team play by Boston University there with Escalera pushing in at the same time as Dino to ensure that they could trade the pick as the Terriers surmount a 6-3 lead with DNL rescuing that op dropped by Falsio.
B, C. Looking to slowly make their way towards top and mid. A will recon bolt. That top and mid. Falsia ready if anyone peeks. You fan. Taking a peek, Falsia does not find the shot as BC wants no business with any of that anymore as they execute on. Not just execute, but seem to make their way on to a main. Escalera finds a clean first pick onto S Slipper as he seems to pop the lockdown. Potentially being shot out by the jet. D-Land looking to shoot out the lockdown. However, will get caught out. DNL and Gabriel both finding picks on A as Dino pops the Empress looking to make swift work of what's left of this BC team in a 4v2. Dino, BU, not just Dino, BU well aware of the locations, both of them in A main. Uh, it seems they also have control of Spike, so BC is going to regroup and try to find a new, new approach. If not, save. No, they don't even have anything to save, really, so they gotta take their best shot. Smiley waiting out the Empress, as seems to be need showers Spamming some shots. 30 seconds left. You fan taking a new angle on BU. However, Gabriel is ready to catch that potential flank. Optimum waiting for you fan to push into cat. We'll find the pick onto him at his just need shower left versus the world. Falsio. <laughs> Taunting him a little left. bit with his uh, crosshair, a little bit. But he is probably looking to save this round. Uh, we'll see if BU decides to greed and try to go for this last kill. The Leer is worth spending if it gets in this kill, but both sides will just back off and play it safe. Oh, DNL, the last second finds it. Good pick by him. And as he leads the leaderboard for BU right now, as they take a 7 3 lead, this is the complete opposite of what we saw map one. As, uh, as, as a member of. B of the BU game called I am uh, I'm gonna use my uh, my commentating bias to say uh, map one was a warm-up smile TNL looking to push out of a immediately as he is confident that he is better than them but you seem to split up between mid and B but falsely has the angle ready if they look to around the corner Opshot will come out on to the Sova drone as BC might be looking to peek him, but to no avail as Gabriel will find the opening pick. Picks go out onto Dino and Falsia, two very impactful picks for BC. Gabriel will get caught out as well, losing the aim tool as it is just Escalera left versus the world. I guess it's not really the world because it's only a 3v1, but if anyone can do it, I believe it's Escalera. BC going to hear him drop, probably. So as he is looking to slowly clear his way onto the site. Where are you looking, my dude? All right, pushes in. There are two back site, but I'm not sure he knows this. As he rounds the corner. Ooh, I guess the jet did not see him there yet, but they will after he drops. Finds one, but does not know that the jet also hears the shots. Finds two. Incredible picks by him. Fakes, but there's no time. Find, sees the omen. Knows he's there as he is potentially looking to get half before, but... The omen will spray. Imagine if I died right now. Omen peaks, but Escalera finds the last pick, but will he have enough time left to defuse? And it seems like, oh, just shy. Just 0.25 seconds off. You really hate this. That was Escalera's round as he found the third pick. Oh my God, from B, you hate to see that. You hate, 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 hate to see that. But, but Terriers are still up three rounds as they show no sign of backing down. False here with the off again. Found a good pick with it a couple of rounds ago, but has been struggling to find it. And we'll take a different angle into this B garage. And uh, he may find something as there are currently five people of BC lined up in front of B. Two of them opting to go to mid. But we will see if this Rana will peek it off. Gabriel finding his own with the off. Me not being aware of that entirely. Rana will veer in. But Falsia just a little bit late on the off shot as he smartly backs out of the site. Gabriel, with his own op, shooting one into the smoke, but will not find anything. Dino finds the opening pick around the mid area. Best university? We we, we love you too, Red Arm Goon. And we love you as well, Northeastern University. Any you notwithstanding. Of course, I wouldn't expect anything else from you, but 
uh, as I agree with your first statement, but uh, your second one, uh, I we'll, we'll have to chat afterwards about that. Also, yeah, looking to find one as BC slowly creeps their way through market. Optimum probably hears them, but still pieces the way here. Probably looking to do a similar strat to what DNL did. Optimum is ready for them to push in as he finds one, two. Spike is down, but we'll get cut out by Need Shower as Need Shower will recover the Spike Giver with the off. Ready to dispose of him, but Falsey with the Jet Knights will find the last pick, and that will be an eight or half for the Terriers. Here's on their sides. way to make this a series. BU on their attack side. Uh, looking to send three people through that top of mid. Mid control has been a big topic of discussion for uh, the BU team. Looking to bring three ghosts in a frenzy. Not super uncommon from what we've seen in professional Valent these days. Need Shower finding one on two. Optimum. But that does not stop BU from pushing into this A site as they send two into Tree Room. Falsio with the frenzy. Unable to find Need Shower. We'll get the reset for, but. Not before Need Shower will find DNL. Falsio taking out Need Shower, but will get traded by DLAN as we are in a 2v3 with just Gabriel and Escalera. Betty Boy coming around on the flank, and that will be the pistol round for Boston College. Recalling my bot, bot coming back. BU not looking to eco even after that round one loss. Smartly as BC looked to full, well, half buy, but as full as you can do for round two. Good shock dart coming down, tagging two members of BU. No heals available on either side, but seems like BU is backing out as they don't really want to contest that Omicron, but Dino will stay to catch any members of Boston College potentially looking to flank or looking to re-entry himself. Flash from Gabriel will, sorry, smoke from Gabriel will happen on A, potentially looking to take the site as smokes come down for BU from Autumn Escalera finds the opening pick as the whole team is flashed with uh, Slipper getting picked up, finding, getting picked up, but not before finding DNL himself as we are in a 2v3. Gabriel only with a share, but Optimum in danger with the spike in the back of B site. Potentially looking to find one, try to make this Gabriel's life a little bit easier, but Gabriel will only have the sheriff left to clutch out this 1v3. Killjoy turret out of range, seconds but Killjoy is dead. Fine. Gets a shot onto the Silva, but will not kill him. And I think uh, he was ready just to move on to the next round in that scenario. BC Eagles slowly creeping their way back. 8-6 right now. Terriers are look, probably looking to save this round with, with this amount of credits. As we see, no gun purchases come out yet from them. With, B, with BC having one Vandal, two, three Spectres. Oh, will we see another rifle buy? Nope, another Spectre buy. Yep. So, BC still opting to bonus the Spectres that they purchased the round before. Fast take from BU. But Slipper will find Optimum. Sprang into the smoke. Finds two. Sprang into the smoke. Not four. Escalera finds one of his own. 3v3 with DNL finding one with the Sheriff as d -Land will pick off Gabriel. DNL spots. D land there, but will lose the gunfight as it is just Escalera versus the war right now. Spot Soba in the top of mid, but D land will take him out from Cat as he repeaked mid. Terriers struggling right now in this attack. 
uh, with the two smokes, they should have the cover they need really to clear the ground onto the sites. Um, I liked what they tried to do with the fake onto A. We saw two rounds ago. However, the gunfights didn't end up going their way. Right now, BU has been pushing fast, aggressively, with uh, multiple people carrying multiple areas. I think they probably are looking for a slower default push here as uh, DNL seems to be making his way over to B. Uh, I think splitting up is probably the way to go here as they haven't really done so before, which gave BC ample time to rotate their members. You know, Nord not looking to take any gunfights right now, but Escalera is looking to set up the rest of his team as Falsia is slowly going to push into the tree room, looking to go straight through that omen smoke, not respecting it at all. Jet smoke come out to fake the push up through garden to glass as falsia takes a small peek at what's on site the owl drone may or may not get falsia but it seems to have caught you know falsia loses the gunfight against slipper the main fragger for bc as optimal will find d land as BC, bu is looking to execute on to a site with escalera finding a pick onto Nick chow recon bolt will come out however dnl and gabriel not aware of slipper's location but optimal will find two against slipper and Yu fan leaving just Benny on the Killjoy remaining. However, Escalera will find the last pick onto Benny Boy to prevent them from tying up this map. Be you able to buy a full arsenal of rifles in this round. Uh, looking to close out this game. But they got four more rounds to do so before and before BC can get six of their own. Falsia jiggling mid will not find anything, but Dino will get caught out by D Lan as Escalera finds Need Shower. Escalera looking to pop the Kildrate ult potentially. Nope, decides not to use it and to regroup. You should run. Escalera will pop the Kildred ult to grab that orb as uh, Bio looks to not push off the Kildred ultimate. Interesting there as BC is definitely fully expecting it. Sending Cover only uh, their omen back to contest this B rotate as three members of BC are still on a site. But BC starts the rotates as they are ready to actually retake this site recon bolt comes down from bc as bu is looking to get this spike down they have the advantage falsio spots two but will get picked off by d land smokes down from autumn he does have the brim ult available looking to stay alive as long as possible as it is so strong in this post plant scenario escalera finds one onto slipper the carrier of the team on the flank as killjoy both autumn and gabriel are coming in that back of B as Escalera has the Molly. Gabriel finds one onto Benny Boy. Jet looking to peek, finds Gabriel and will find Autumn as well. And it is, is as it is Escalera versus the world right now, has no Molly available. And I think he is probably conceding the round as they're going to go for a streak diffuse. No, no diffuse here, but they do find the pick. If it's halfway, then they win the round. But, and it does seem that VC will get the diffuse. 9-8, so carriers in the lead, but not by nearly as much as they had going into the second half. Sh struggling to find their stride a little bit, only winning one round, it seems to be, on attack. So, proving that they are a little bit stronger on defense, and we did see that on Haven as well. They were, they did perform better on the defender side than the attacker side. All right. Down. BU splitting up their push a little. No, not so. But there's it's three on uh, top of mid. But Falsia looking to make a quick take into Cat Walk. As Escalera will send the Molly to A. But Heat Shower is ready to go. DNL pops the Empress. Ready to push in. Omen Flash will make will slow him down for a second. But Optimum does not care as he just goes in and finds two. I am missing a ton of great plays from Optimum and DNL, and Gabriel will find the last two with Escalera getting picked off by Ufan. 
Terriers not letting BC tie it up again. So they still have a shred of momentum of what they need. We see a call out from Reg for post plant mollies as unfortunately at that time he didn't have one, but proved to be useful, but not to clutch out the round. Awesome has the smoke set up. Again, BU going for that fast catwalk slash A take again. And BC has the defense ready with one on A and one in A on catwalk with both of them pressed up super far with Omen as well. D-Land finding one with the Marshall onto DNL, the main fragger for this team right now. Falsio will put the scope and finds one with the knives, not caring about D-Land's angle as Othuam will, not, sorry, Gabriel will plant. The spike. Athlon ready for a rotate right as the Killjoy turret will spot the Omen pushing in a main. But uh, if you're Athlon here, you are playing to use that Brimstone ult in the scenario that the rest of your team gets picked off. Athlon has the angle right here. set for to pick off Omen as he is aware of where he is coming from. Omen probably looking to. No, just ends up using a smoke. Osmond's gonna take a peek actually at Slipper V2 and will win the gunfight, bringing them to 11, eight and two rounds away from a map three. Yeah. See some cheering from, from chat indeed. But now it's only two more. But your message for three more came out because CSL 90 second spec here delay. We love obeying the rules. Smile. BU changing out the push. Uh, sending five through B as uh, Northeast, not Northeastern, Boston College. But it goes with the same defense they had last round. Shock Dart comes out from uh, UFAN as he's looking to use an LMG, probably trying to find a cheeky pick here. Second Shock Dart comes out as Falsia will get tagged. BU is definitely looking to back out of this site as shots are kind of spammed from the side of BC. Falsio pulls his gun out, ready to contest something in Catwalk as they are fully rotating through. No, just fully rotating through Cat. Omen Blind comes out. It's going to slow him down a little bit. No, not even at all. Falsio just jet dashing straight into the line of BC. Will, will he even pop the glass? No, he's not going to pop the glass. Pops the glass, actually. Finds Killjoy. Will shoot out the lockdown. No, does not quite get the lockdown, actually. One shot away. It, had he used the singer, then he would have been able to get Escalera. Might get detained here. No, just ends up getting picked off instead. But the spike is down for BU as BC is left to retake the site. Falsia lights up the opposing jet, but will not find the closing pick as the stinger has a limited amount of ammo. Here's that brimstone ult I was talking about. Will it find anything? It does not find it. Find Slipper, actually. Our carry for the team. But D-Lamb will find the last two spraying through the omen smoke, bringing this to nine, 11 to 9. BU on the cusp of a map two victory. However, cannot falter as the Boston College is creeping up in rounds so far. Good execution by BU. However, things things just ended up not going their way mechanically. I feel like at some point, uh, BU looking to go back to the A push that they won so many rounds on before on its attack side. Optimum, slowly looking to go in. Uh, Sova spraying that area in garage, potentially looking to find something early. But so it will pop the ult as DNL is coming in, guns a blazing. DNL will blind in as the members of BU are looking to actually Escalera finds the opening pick once again on the Killjoy actually. As Falsia is ready to contest it from showers, finds the Benny Boy. I think that was a running headshot actually. So good, uh, good spray coming in from him. But. Optimum and DNL looking to potentially catch a later rotate with Gabriel. Actually, all playing a long. We saw this come out from Renegades earlier today in the first strike closed qualifier where the members of the defense, after they planted, went towards that A main area and is proving to work as Gabriel finds one onto D Lamb as, as uh, BC is left to retake the site and Dino in false here. We find the last two. As I mentioned before, Renegades. Pulled out this strategy, this post plant strategy point. against Cloud9. 
earlier today in the first call in the first strike not qualifier close qualifier and we saw this on ascent and bu kind of taking their own spin with the extra man in hell to burn a little bit more time excellent post plant by boston university as they are one round away from making this from bringing this series to a map three Omen from BC taking an early push, sitting in the smoke, so potentially looking to flank members of BU as they go in. D land finding falls here early as Gabriel will refrag DNL from against Slipper 3v4 right now with Gabriel only at half his HP as he is potentially looking to take a fight with this jet. Only has his pistol out, switch his gun. Will unfortunately lose the fight to D land. Athlum not looking to commit just yet until his teammate can Escalera can get there. But the need shower is coming on the flank. Escalera aware of this. Will unfortunately peek, but not find the pick as it is Atom versus the world. Finds the first one onto Benny Boy in A Heaven as smoke drops down to potentially prevent a pincer. But Atom needs to find this first pick onto need shower fast to prevent that pincer I was talking about. Finds the pick on the need shower. Recon Bolt is weeded out, so he is able to take these fights one at a time as he slowly inches his way towards the spike with 36 seconds left. So there is enough time for a rotate barely. But it seems like he is going to double back to this A site. 30 seconds play for left. A pick. BC not really setting up a proper crossfire right now. So we could take this one at a time. Okay, now they have the two people holding the same angle as Sova is close, looking to slowly rotate. Sova unable to find an optimum, but will get picked out by D Lan. I like the thought there of trying to go back in, take the picks one at a time, potentially look to clutch the round out. But also at the same time, there was 37 seconds left on the clock when he grabbed that spike. And I think that's enough to pull your knife out, run to B, and potentially play from back site to try to uh, 1v2, win 1v2 in the post plan. I mean, actually not even back site because he could play somewhere even further away if he is aware of the Brim Molly to cover that post plant scenario. But you just needing one round to win and BC needing two to bring it to overtime. Uh, we'll see if the tears are able to close out this map. Gabriel pushing it fast into catwalk. Just, just smoke from BC to try to slow him down a little bit as he backs off his initial aggressive push. Falsio making his way down mid to market. Clears an angle. However, he is not aware of the crossfire that is currently set up to accompany him, but will find Slipper. Crossfire not probably set up, but it ends up being refragged by U Fan. D Shower finds one to DNL, but not before Gabriel will refrag DNL. Even trade so far on both sides. Escalera finds one more, bringing this to a 3v2. Closes the door as they are looking to get this spike down a little bit outside of the default plant site. As we may see a repeat of... Whole nope. Life. Brim is going to go to that area underneath Heaven. Such a dominant position as Yufan is going to be spraying to try to find something as he is aware of Optimus' position. Gabriel... Holding close to the smoke as the door is down. Escalera spraying it a little bit. Yufan will find one onto Gabriel. Catch him out of position, but Escalera will find the pick on to D land. But Escalera will get the last pick onto Yufan, and we have a series chat with a 13 win by the Boston University Terriers. A premature uh, flub there on production side. I want to talk about the statistics before we cut to a break immediately d lan pulling in the work for bc and the top of the lobby at 29 picks uh moving him from the phoenix no he was playing cypher last game moved on to the jet uh unfortunately i cannot play with you ug unfortunately i have, I have more important things to do we have a series here but escalera putting in crazy crazy work for bu terriers uh with 25 picks and clutching out that last round for the Terriers. We're going to cut to a quick break before we begin map three.
We are back. We ap I apologize for the first round delay. We I had some technical issues on my end where my game actually crashed. Uh, coming in to game three on bind. Uh, looks like terriers are going to be on attack first. Optimum finds two with the ghost. One but BC is looking to defuse the spike with just Gabriel left on the side of BU. Gabriel just slightly off the mark to stop the defuse, but BC will take the first round. Proving their dominance on the pistol round, and Gabriel will not find the last exit pick. Again, apologies for missing the majority of that first round, but we are back in it, looking in as BC takes takes the first round. A couple of notes I wanted to say prior to my disconnect were, I sure am glad to see this map three. I think the Terriers deserve this map three and deserve this series from the way they played map two. Uh... My throat is sure not happy that there's a game three, but priorities, my priorities lie for BU winning this game right now. Awesome. Looking to take an early peek. Will hide back undercover before he gets picked off. Slipper will find Falsia, but not find a second onto Autumn. Autumn will take out that Leer as well. DNL wrapping around to join Autumn in mid. As is just optimum right now. Looking to drop some smokes potentially on the B, but there are three members of BC there. No, two members of BC there. I lied. Escalera is the one in guarded right now. Not looking to necessarily take a peek or commit at all, but <clears throat> carries have to make up their mind with 50 seconds remaining. Dino will leer in with the Spectre ready to find Hungry for. They pick Gabriel, finds one with the classic. I believe that was a right click, actually, as Escalera will get picked off in the B elbow area. Gabriel, blood hungry with this classic, as DNL will mop up Benny Boy. DNL taking out D Lan as well, as it is just U Fan on the Sova. Left versus Optimum and DNL. Optimum with the Sheriff, so not as well equipped to deal with this, possibly. But the Recon Bolt will come out, but DNL will find the third pick. You know, being a monster on this round, finding all three of his picks so far this round, as BU will get the thrifty. I believe the only buys we saw were from uh, DNL and Optimum, with Optimum buying the Sheriff and DNL with the Spectre, as uh, DNL has the Vandal, seems to have traded his Spectre to one of his other teammates. In the, one of the more supporting roles, I think that's smart as he is the main fragger for this team looking to put in some serious damage. Last week, we saw Dino on bind as well, put up, I believe, 32 kills, if my memory does not mistake me. So he is definitely looking for a repeat performance of that match. Escalera slowly clears his way, just shy of seeing the Phoenix, but eventually will re-peak him, finding a quick and easy pick. Just Cypher left in U-Haul, but will not find anything with the shorty. Escalera finding two right now as he breaks his way onto site. Optimum holding an angle in the smoke. Has the triple smoke setup. This is the setup that BU worked on for this site. This is why they run double smoke so much. Slipper with the shorty will find Optimum, but Falsia will find the last pick onto Slipper as we can only do so much with a shorty in a 1v4. Apologies again to those in chat for starting the stream. Our coverage of game three a little bit late, but we're in it now. BU has a 2 1 lead. They are attacking right now. They are red. Looking to make a statement win against their rival school. Escalera doesn't spot anything yet, but the smoke will come out from BC to slow down this hookah push. Uh. Gabriel looks to be creeping up B long. Doesn't clear the angle. Does not find anyone camping by the teleporter. As BC is ready for this push. Phoenix Salt will come out from BC. As the Empress will come out. Falsia finds one onto U fan, but will get refragged. Escalera with the position ready to hold. As DNL will use with the Empress, will find one onto Need Shower. No one in hookah, but the Leer as a good measure. Obviously, 
with the spectator view i have hindsight is 2020 for me as the two last members of bc are looking to save on a site ref starts for the duelists of bc both of them struggling to find a pick in these first three rounds as it is quite the opposite for dnl as he's found four already and already popped an empress round four as you're going to be slowly creeping out to a site potentially looking to get some of these last frags to do damage to bc's economy unfortunately escalera will get caught out by benny boy in heaven as benny boy is looking to run away with his life right now do you awesome i'm taking the fight with benny boy after the round and will come out on top <clears throat> the push towards the a site in the end I think ended up working out in Boston University's favor. I mean, eh, actually, yeah, I think it did because with the econ so low for Boston College, they are really pulling at straws here with a Bucky, two Stingers, a Bucky and a Judge, excuse me, two Buckies. They made up their mind and only one Vandal on the side of D-Lan right now. BU taking the push to A this time. Falsia finds one with the knives. I... As he's looking to push through and catch the people rotating out from the Spike defender planted. side from B. Finds one on Sneet Shower. Dashes back in undercover as DNL will do the cleanup work for him. Slipper finds one with the Bucky. We'll pick up. We'll pick up Escalera's Vandal and we'll take out Atom with it. Slash in. Gonna not catch DNL, but. Does not matter as Slipper still finds the pick. Slipper putting in so much work to carry this Boston College team so far in this series. Will he find the last two picks on Falsia and Gabriel? They're, they know his position. Gabriel takes the peak. Slipper finds it. Will it? Will we see the ace? And Falsia denies the ace for Slipper. Almost a 1v5 clutch, actually. Proving why he has done so much work keeping this Boston College team uh, initially having a lead and alive in this series as they came back almost on map two but to no avail as boston university will take their fourth round on bind this is map three of a best of three series so winner of this map will take the series in week four collegiate star league here okay, with the flash ready for hookah nope decides not to use it but they're going with a fast b take again Escalera finds the first one. Falsia with the opening pick onto Need Shower. Gonna get caught by the Omen Flash as the Hunter's Fury will come out from the side of Boston College. Escalera briefly peeps into Albo, but decides to plant the bomb. Excuse me, the site next to Tube. Slipper finds ZNL in B long as Escalera is going to reposition to cover that angle with that new given information. Atom and Hookah going to be able to find. I know exactly but BC is now alerted of his position as Cypher ults come out from both sides. That is Atom left versus the world. Grimbolt comes out as BC is well aware of Atom's location, but he is fighting on for his life, trying to kill as much time. Finds Benny Boy, but not before the members of BC can defuse this spike. Excellent effort by BU on the post plant and Atom making use of that Brimstone ultimate. However, he was not able to buy enough time for you good round by the bc eagles uh not letting the terriers snowball too much momentum yet as they are still the competitive team in this series oh, this is a nice spot that goes there BU fast Jump taking over. A. These Put fast pushes have been putting in work for BU as Falsia will immediately peek to Phoenix and finds him in U-Haul, not respecting any of that utility put in place to slow them down. As DNL finds one on his own onto D Lan. Smoke setup we saw from an earlier round coming out again. As Falsia will get caught by Slipper, but will give his team the information that there are three coming from the defender spawn location. Escalera briefly peeps one in heaven, but still decides to peep through. Finds you, fan. Slipper. Oh, thought he had Slipper. Looked away for a second, but as 
but eventually gets the job done. As DNL will find the last one on to need shower. Terry's up 5 2. Going into round 8 right now. Money wise, they're looking okay. Uh, very comfortable with I mean, excess of thousands of dollars as BC looks to be a little bit strapped for cash. Well, there's only two members being able to afford a full kit, but it seems like they will go for the half buy smartly to be able to have full guns next round. You ready to push Hookah and Yilong, but the Benny Boy is waiting. Excuse me, Benny Bot is waiting for you to push in through Garden, but rotates out as his team was alerted of the push coming in from Hookah. BU ready to collapse in as Benny Boy is there to the left, and Gabriel will catch him out, saving DNL's life as he was looking the wrong other way. Optimum finds one. And looking, nope, decides not to molly and cover the flank instead smartly. As Falsia finds his first in this round. Optimum finding another on the flank watch again. Excellent play by, uh, excellent smart play by Optimum. Thinking of where BC's players could go for. There must have been a call, a clear call. That there was three on site. So Optimum made the right decision to side and stay back with to catch the DNL looking to peek in, but you fan will find Gabriel team with the stinger, but DNL will properly refract his teammate as expected in that 4v1 chase down scenario. I think it's a little bit hard for uh, you fan to really get much more than a pick or two there. So props to him for still coming out on top in the gunfight against Gabriel as he only had the stinger there. mentioned before bc will have access to full guns to contest bu recon bolt comes out and is going to spot two members of bu but escalera does not care about that continues to push on through to onto a site as bu is looking to possibly get a plant no gabriel has the spike right now as falsely will find one of his own actually switched off escalera as he picks up d land on the cypher right there benny boy around the showers falsely going to dash out not finding the shots initially as Gabriel will get the plant down. Falsio backing out, switches his gun to the Vandal that was on the ground. I believe that was Escalera's Vandal, not mistaken. Has the angle on Heaven, but can get peaked from Defender's spawn as Gabriel inches his way to U-Haul to cover that angle. Reyna from BC looking to push through. Need shower. Uh, despite needing a shower, he is not in showers right now. Pushing through Defender spawn, but Gabriel will catch him out even with the Empress activated. As Terriers will advance their lead to five rounds. Right now, BC opting for another half buy uh, with some of their members being able to afford a full kit next round if they so lose. Recon Bolt will spot out Falsia as Slipper is pushing through that smoke, similar to what BU has been doing, not respecting utility to try to be aggressive. But an excellent flick by Falsia will find one, and she finds two actually on to Benny Boy as he rotates back. Gabriel will get picked out by Yufan, but Falsia and Dino are ready to collapse onto the site with Optimum. Having these smokes set up that we've seen many rounds in again. And this round is looking to be a repeat of rounds of the past. D Lan with the Marshal potentially looking to make something done as he slowly clears defender side and heaven. DNL finds one onto Need Shower. D Lan with the hit. That was a hit fire. I don't even know. Having too fast. But we'll find DNL and pick up his Vandal to try to retake this site. Falsio, ready for the entry from d -Land. Shots do not connect, but Atom is ready for him to round this corner to triple. As d -Land is looking to take an educated pick at this. Fakes 
And Atom will just tap his head as G Land caught was caught looking the wrong way. Changes skins. Uh and narrowly escapes the bomb as the round ended. <laughs> Two eight for the Terriers right now on bind. Uh this is a complete different team than what we saw on Haven. This BU team is completely dominating this map three right now as they look to reverse sweep the BC Eagles. Well, I mean, in two or three, if you lose the first one, it's only going to be a reverse sweep. But reverse sweep sounds cool. So they're they're on their way to reverse sweep the BC Eagles. Joke's over. No You're dead. Bolt going to catch out a couple falls. So you're getting hit by the Sova ultimate, but will dash up. Smiley to avoid it. And excellent jet movement from him to avoid getting picked as the Phoenix will Try to do the cleanup. Could still be there. But Falsier takes a peek. Alerts Escalera of the almost location as Escalera will tap his head. Pops a cipher to give them information on where they should push. Escalera sets up the cages as Atom is on site, ready to possibly repeat the same take we have seen so many rounds. Here comes these smokes as he finds one early onto the Sova. D land gonna pick off Escalera as. Phoenix going to Porter, finds one. Uh, a little teleporter interaction there. Interesting. Don't see that every single day. As Falsia finds one with the D-Land 5. Need shower. Going to mow down two, but Falsia will. Falsia and DNL will clean up. Last the members of BC. The we approach the last round of the half. Uh, for some reason, my Valorant game likes to say both of the voice lines at the same time. Couldn't really tell you why, but... BC is strapped for cash as they do not have a full kit amongst all of their members. Two of their members going with Spectres and that heavy armor. But BU is sitting on a nice pile of cash and they'll have the guns they kept from last round to be able to potentially find a 10-2 lead. Falsia, ready. We'll jet out, but we'll get missed the shots and get caught up by Yufan. Perhaps a little bit too aggressive there. But... They are willing to play with this lead a little bit for the sake of momentum as it is the last round of the half. So all cards are on the table. Autumn awesome having the Brimble. So if they do manage to get the spike down in this 2v5, he will definitely be looking to use it, but could possibly use it to clear out an area of the site as a way to take as they are missing their entry frags. So that could help displace some of the enemy team uh, as an attempt to push. Escalera pushing, dancing in that element smoke. Waiting for it to go down to find something early. Optimum, but instead will find the first pick as he is still unscathed as they look to back out to B. Cypher Cam will track, will track Escalera as they are surrounded on either side of Hookah. Greenbolt comes down into the teleporter and they will peek and catch Yufan as we are in a 3v2, which is... It sounds a lot better than a 2v4 as the Terriers left. make their way back onto A. Escalera coming in first with his knife out. But the member of BC sitting in A short did not see them as Escalera is looking to plant. But Ottoman will get picked and Slipper will find his fourth for the round. Patiently waiting for their return. Switching sides. Terriers at a large 3-2-9 lead right now coming into the second half. Uh, BC opting to full by Ghost here with BU going with one classic from DNL and a Frenzy from Gabriel. Uh, seeing the Frenzy and the Light Armor there does mean that he is not buying uh, any utility, I believe. So Gabriel is looking for picks uh, despite being at the bottom of the leaderboard right now. But that does not mean that can't change this half. Gabriel playing a very aggressive style of Omen, as we saw on Ascent. So, Terrace looking not to slow down any bit at all. Slipper inching his way onto uh, East Site, but Escalera wants none of it with the camp. Probably going to take an early peek, but will get caught up by Need Shower, who also has a Ghost Optimum. Will pop these smokes to try to buy his team some time to rotate, as DNL and Gabriel are making their way to from that defender side. 
Talk to him. Here's the ultimate orb getting grabbed as Benny Boy will actually find one with the Phoenix Molly on to Gabriel. As they are backing out to A, reading the rotation from BU. But Falsia is still there to greet them. Falsia slowly pushes out, but D-Land will get the one-tap onto him. Right here. Optimum alerting his team of the plant in Spike Tetris. Planted. Looking to slowly take this back. Do you know? with his teammate to slowly round the way into U-Haul as no one is directed in it with Cypher taking a short jiggle Optimum go. will find the pick but Slipper V2 finds the last two fitting for his name as he is carrying this BC team in this series 17 kills with the rest of his teammates not even at 10 apiece Looking to make a fast push into market. Tripwire will alert them as you, as you fan will be watching the flank. Flash comes out from DNL as he looks to find one. DNL finds Benny Boy refragging Falsia, but DLan is there for the pincer as he finds both DNL and Gabriel, leaving just Optimum and Escalera on the side of BU. A repeat of what we saw this previous round. BC showing that they are strong in these pistol rounds. And rounds shortly after. Escalera pushes through the smoke. Knows that find it in two, but Need Shower will find the pick with the Spectre. Optimum looking to push his way in, but Slipper already there to greet him in Fuka Window. Seeing something a little bit similar to what we saw uh, last map on Ascent with uh, Terriers taking a dominant first half and struggling to really get, gain traction in the second half initially. But the Terriers do have full kits this round, as they did save last round. Uh, so, you're looking to compete a little bit stronger than what BC has to offer. BC bonusing three of the Spectres they purchased last time, so this could go for the worst for them if BU clutches this round. But you will still have enough to have full kits, even with a BU win here. Escalera. Ready to greet them B-Long. Howard did not initially see anything. Looking in at the gameplay. Optimum had the angle, but the will get droned out. And will pop the smoke there to buy himself and his team to make up more time. Interesting of him to sit there with the smoke out rather than his gun. As he'll molly. Has the molly out. Ready to delay the attackers in Fuka. As they may choose a different site of attack. With all this utility being used, Slipper finds one with Escalera. Keeping this BC team alive, they know of Optimum's location in Elbow, but the smoke will protect him from any potential peaks at the moment. Gets lit a little bit, but he seems to be okay right now. DNL finds his first onto Yufan, rescuing his teammate Optimum from when the omen smoke would eventually wear off but gabriel still on the a site left. ready for the cypher to come in as bc is looking to execute on to a right now with everyone but optimum rotating smart for bu not to fully commit all their members as it came to their advantage now one as a site as dnl remaining. finds one and falsia left. will find another with 10 seconds left for bc and bu has the spike they can wait out just two more seconds in this round it'll be impossible for them to win as there's not enough time to plant the spike slipper looking just to stay alive as bu decides not to engage with him being smart with their economy as they both as they do not have any money to buy full kits this round really but bc sitting on a more comfortable uh, i wouldn't say pile of cash but enough for most of their members to buy with just d land opting to use the sheriff i believe he full bought last round with some of, with most of their other members using inspector 
you know, the early pick and finds D-Lan in the market area. He knows of Benny Boy's location. Flash comes out from you know, but will hide and gets wall banked through the crate area. Atma looking to push in, finds Phoenix, well, Phoenix ult, but Yufan will refrag the Phoenix ult, thus accomplishing its purpose. Escalera finding Slipper in the long killing that carry of the BC team. Cam will spot two in Hookah, but BC does not seem to have given up taking that position yet as Gabriel will make his way through market on the flank and will find one with the Ares. Falcio with Jet Knives as BC decides to regroup and rethink their approach in this 15th round. 16th round, excuse me. Yufan and, and Phoenix both pushing their way through market. No one there to immediately greet them in a short or U-Haul, but Gabriel is on site, ready to stop a potential 30 seconds left. Uh, default plant in front of the truck. Only one member of BU to greet two BC members as he hears the footsteps and is ready to stop this plant from going down. Lines in. Gabriel, well aware of a possible plant location, but misses the mark against Yu Fan as it is just Falsy versus the world. Finds one with the jet knives as it is just him versus Benny Boy on Phoenix. Falsy jumps in and finds the Phoenix with the right click as has an excellent clutch by Falsia to bring the Terrius up to 11. A little showboating with the right click of the knives as Terriers are up six rounds, 11 to five against BC. Excellent use of Jet's utility and movement by Falsia. We've seen this week in and week out. He's able to make full use of Jet's entire kit to secure rounds for his team. Falsia and DNL both tied for kills right now. Both of them such aggressive on that duelist roll. DNL opting to pop that Empress immediately from the start. Peeking showers, however, will not find anything. Atamon will find one early in the hookah push, but will get refragged out by Need Shower. BC still in the hookah area, not willing to push yet despite having that trade as giving BU plenty of time to rotate on over. BC, killed in hookah. Shots being spammed through the smoke, as uh, now the side seems ready to commit to something right now, smartly. Escalera might have gotten a peep of any boy's head and vice versa. So, they might know who's in there, but BC is looking to back out. I think that's an off I see on the side. Nope, that's not an off. I don't know what I'm seeing. Uh, but, you know, we'll wrap on back to A, but Gabriel was there the whole time to potentially stop a push coming out of U-Haul. Owl drone comes in. Will it find Gabriel? Uh, the answer is, if it goes, through, does this full clear? It may, <clears throat> but it seems it will not. 30 seconds left. Spike plant comes down as the last two remembers of B are looking to rotate back. Gabriel will flash as exactly both Cyphers will trade, but the Cypher ult will come out from BC, alerting them of their locations. Falcio does not care about that Cypher ult being used though, as he finds two, one of which being a wall bang. But he knows of Yufan's location in showers as they're able to stop this defuse as Falcio is pushing in on Yufan using that silver ult hat spike being brought halfway. He will be able to get the defuse. So good use of having two people alive. Obviously, it's easy to say. More people alive makes things easier. Match but, point. Uh, good use of good use of Jet's utility to rush down Yufan while he was using the Sova ult. I gotta say, I am very impressed by Falsy this round. A complete turnaround from what we saw on map one progressively. And right now, he is... He's clutched out two of these rounds for Boston University, making huge impact frags. And as Boston University is one win away from 
the series. BC looking to clear out Hookah. Owl drone. There's that, but Dina will find one, but will get picked off. Escalera with the refrag will stop the B long push as utility gets used by Boston. Just not from, from Hookah. Slipper pushing straight through the omen smoke to find Ottoman and eventually Escalera. As the omen ult will come out to scout out and potentially flank the BU members looking to rotate false here. Finds one. Will eventually peak the Phoenix, but Phoenix can scram through the smoke. But it doesn't matter. Crow's zone fake. Falsia is staying on this, but unfortunately, at the last second before he get the fuse off, Slipper will find him almost with the ninja defuse. But Slipper will find the last pick, carrying his team and with more kills than anyone on the server right now at 24. Escalera attempting something with the Deagle, but unable to find something. But Optimum will refrag him as DNL finds one of his own. Flaps in to market. DNL finds another onto Neat Shower as we are in a, two, a very fast 2v2, just 35 seconds into the round. <clears throat> Gabriel and DNL both with guns equipped. Full rifles equipped as Siemens BC will plant Spike onto planted. B site. Gabriel does have the Omen ult available, so can teleport to a more desirable angle if he chooses to do so. Uh, Dino waiting for his teammate to catch up before pushing in smartly as there are two of them. That's crucial in this 2v2. And you're going to see an Omen ult coming out. Both flashes come out from the members of BU. Trying to catch someone playing in elbow. They know of the Sova in back sight, but Phoenix is still elbow. Potentially can wrap around. It's just Gabriel versus Phoenix, and that's going to be the last pick. Will he have enough time? I think the answer is no. So, BC will find another ult. But, Gabriel, does he lose the omen ult for that? He does lose the omen ult for that, unfortunately. So, initially hesitating will cost him his life. But, BU has five ults available for this 20th round. So, they can easily... Stack all of them to put them at a pretty serious advantage. Unfortunately for BU, not being able to close it out. Taking just a little bit too long on the retake. But they have uh, hurt BC's economy with two of their members opting for Bulldogs instead of a normal Phantom or Vandal. False here with the off. First time we've seen, I believe, this map. Taking a few showers, but BC has seemed to not really like taking that approach so far Escalera looking for another duel on the long as he has so many times before as he calls for his brimstone to bring a smoke there <clears throat> aware of the Randall's location and belong will pop two cages to slow down BC as he falls back smartly Grimstone does have the ult available, probably looking to use it on Puka. As I would suggest, forces one to drop, drop out as Gabriel and Otto will find picks. Cypher ult gets interrupted by Need Shower, but Otto will get the refrag. Shots fired into Puka as there, as Benny Boy is there, but Falsia with the op is ready to make one work of what VC has remaining. Right now, it's Benny Boy versus the world, and all Falsia will find the last pick on the op. <clears throat> and win. that will be the series of BU versus VC. What a nail biter, especially coming out such a hard loss at seven to 13. If I remember correctly in map one, BU brought the game in the series back with a dominant seven to 13 win. As I mentioned before, Slipper putting in massive work for BC, topping the leaderboard with Falsia on the side of BU, putting in tons and tons of work, veins of steel in the clutch situation, as well as smart play from both from Optimum 
putting himself in favorable positions to trade his teammates, as well as DNL's aggression, both scoring 18 picks apiece. Ladies and gentlemen, what a series we had tonight. But that will be the end, and I want to thank you 